What is Juco usually known for? It's literally every man for itself because everybody's chasing the same goal. So either you gonna lock in and you're gonna do it, or the next man up, somebody else gonna do it. I wanna be a professional basketball player. I wanna get to the next, next level. Why all of this violence is a uh, Man, you guys know for second chances, betting on yourself. Two of those two big things. Uh, I'm a kid and I was 18. At first it was a little scary. It weighed on me a lot. A thousand pound weight just on my shoulders every day. Hey, yo, where Nick at? Back there in the cut. I walk to a river. I cannot swim or crawl. Every time I leave that house, I'm running to my wall. How do you feel about it? Man, like, to be honest, uh... Loveland, Texas is... A place to grind. It's just dead, bro. Like, it's just a, I mean, like a retirement city. Yeah, it's not too much in living, man. I ain't gonna lie. It's, it's really just grass. It's like night and day out. Shoot, we compare it to Radiator Springs for real. Cause it's like, it's a road that's just never done. It's like, it hasn't been done since we got here. We've been here for like five to six months. <laughs> it's still not done. So it's Radiator Springs, but, um, Y'all said it. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Tell us about South Plains. Why is this place so special? How do you get so much talent? They, they care. The administration and the and the people around the town, to me, are the two biggest assets you got. They'll never tell you no as far as recruiting budget, travel budget. <laughs> Monsters Cops from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. What's up, y'all? I'm Ontario Morris from Dallas, Texas. Three for the former five star, made as high as number 15 by rivals, number seven. And the three point trap ends as the freshman. Jalen Riggs, I'm from uh, Little Rock, Arkansas. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, you gotta know, you got a multiple two uh, things that can happen. One, you could just make one bad mistake, wrong place, wrong time. Uh, one, you could feel like, man, you got the world at your fingertips and you untouchable. And when you get that feeling, that's dangerous. Like, so you gotta know, man, you gotta stay humble, stay hungry, and, and not realize, man, that any wrong turn, stuff, you can fall on your feet. This isn't the, it's pretty small, but it's, it's, it's all you need. Yeah, it's all you need. You gotta be grateful. You got a roof over your head. You are doing what you love. I wake up, I tell everybody, it ain't too many people that can wake up and do the job that they like to do. Cause you know, it's, bills happen, life happen. You gotta, you gotta go do what you gotta do to survive and pay bills. So Nick, ain't too many people that saying they wanna be the cameraman, you feel me? Think about it, Nick. Yeah. Think about it. You like doing that. That's why you do it. But think about if you had to go sit behind a desk for a nine to five, five days a week, only get Saturdays and Sundays off, you'll be miserable. Like, so. Maybe some people like it. Yeah, but at the majority, the majority of people in the world aren't doing what they want to do. Why? Either can't or never had the option to, or don't want to take that uh, risk. You know, to, that, that's a lot of failure, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, like you said, long nights by yourself, things of that nature, away from your family. So, it's, it's tough. This is how you keep yourself entertained? Man, not really. I don't even be really having time to do all this. I just be looking. But I play the game right now and then, but it's the season time. So, if I ain't on the court doing basketball, I'm watching basketball. Mm. That's about it. Again. No, my money. Well, a lot of these, they share a room. Yeah, couple. So like the basketball, we don't. We got our own room, but a lot of them are regular students, so they got roommates. Yeah. Yeah. 
Come get it anyway. I don't want it. Heat it up, mommy. Is it hot? No. Nah. You better warm it up in the microwave. I'm not sick. Bro, he's in the studio right now. <laughs> not not quite 6 a.m., but but uh but eight eight o'clock still. So. Talk, talking to a coach right now. Hollywood. Mm. Yo, he tell my some, he tell my some, he tell my some, open the door like he living. <laughs> open the door. I was gonna stand up. So that was a little late. It's really, it's really like, let me, like, let me tell you a purpose. Like, like, purpose. Like, like the purpose is all for like, just like that extra ump for the, before the game. Like, like the big speaker. When you listen to your own music. <laughs> You a different type of It's like, it gets you in a different mode. Like, different mode. So much of words is about imagination and emotion. Not always the literal sense of the word. A lot of it can be metaphorical in a sense, if you understand what I'm saying. Metaphorically speaking. <laughs> Metaphorically speaking. <laughs> Precisely speaking. Get in front of the camera and turn the T.I. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> 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 Not literally. <laughs> Metaphorically. <laughs> Metaphorically. I, I wanted to say for the camera, I always talk like this. Yeah, in layman's terms, in layman's terms, not real. Not real. It's all proud. All proud. It's all proud. It's not all real. <laughs> or is it? <laughs> nah, Don't give me a reason. At one, we had some ideas. Was it now? Was it now? At three, was we, it now? at three, we laid down the track. At four, we might have something special. At four, we might have something special, right? We might have something <laughs> special, straight like that. Yeah, the pre-practice. <laughs> oh no, it's, that's what I thought. Hey, fool here. Like it smell, smell like I don't know if it's a furnace or what. Yeah. Well, who's playing with the, the rapper like that? Oh yeah, man, most well, definitely. Yeah, you can warm that rapper up. It ain't foil. Good sandwich, man. Ham, cheese, a little bit of mayo. We turn. So I'ma call him, and then after that, I'm out the I did my job. I text you, and I called you to let you know your subway sandwich is in. Yes, at about five or ten. Somebody gonna say. I'm homie. It's crazy, you know it's like that. <laughs> hey, Ted, Ted, what I tell you? We got to request a toasted sandwich game. You know I saying? thought, like, who want to cake? Who want a cold cake game? We don't want no <laughs> cold cake. Hey, you want cake game. Game. Like, come on, game. Game. Come on I'm Gavin Shannon. I'm from Tupelo, Mississippi, hometown of Elvis Presley, man. Not one, but two homicides. So you may be asking, why all of this violence is of late? So Tupelo is really like, it's really what you make it, but it is like dangerous in some areas. So I'm like from the north side of Tupelo, so it's, it's somewhere dangerous, but not too bad. Police made a swift arrest in the killing of a man from now Nettleton. One person's hurt, another person detained. Why exactly are we seeing this uptick in stabbings? Well, law enforcement professionals say it's not too uncommon to see an uptick in crime. In as long as you just stay out the way, keep your head straight, you're gonna be good, bro. I really had to grow up fast. It was just me and my dukes, for real, for real. And then, I ain't gonna lie, I'm not... Yeah. I wasn't like the... I'm not gonna say I was the perfect child or nothing like that. But I just had to grow up. You know, you get that out the way. Like, that was, was some little kid stuff. Just had to grow up. It's literally exactly the same. But I don't try to make it seem like that, because I don't try to push that, like, from my city, but... Yeah, it's like you can't really walk outside too long. You gotta just stay put up, bro. Just stay locked in. This man here's so goofy. Just stay locked in, bro. Just stay in the house and stay in the gym, bro. For real, for real. You walk outside, you might, you can walk to the store, you might see somebody get robbed. Like, you, as a kid, that's all you're seeing. Yeah, as a kid, like you're growing up, seeing everything. Like, people smoking in front of you. You know you're supposed to be smoking in front of kids. Like, come on, do better. It's just stuff like that, and once you see it as a kid, you become like, you know, trying to see what's going on, like what, what that is they smoking, like what they doing over there. Just don't fall into it, bro, for real, for real. You just don't want to say too much. Yeah, basically, I don't want to put a bad image on my city, bro, because it's not that bad. It's just, yeah, it's not bad to me. So you like? Yeah, I like where I'm from. I went trade for nothing. You, you do have to tell them to toast. Is this mustard? Hey, bro, stop <laughs> playing on me. Hey, DJ, come on back, bro. You know I don't need to play like this. Bro. I didn't order that. Bro, is it mustard? I didn't order that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
like no mustard, fool. Well, well, you know, 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 everybody know that, bro. But it was hella mustard on a steak and cheese. <laughs> mustard on steak and cheese. You got a steak and cheese? A sour steak nah, and cheese is wild. I'm you. Hey, check your sandwich. They probably got mustard on it. <laughs> you like mustard? I'm what? You like mustard? 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 Well, uh, no. You don't like mustard? Do you like mild mustard? <laughs> <laughs> nah, no bell with a sandwich. That's like that, bro. Like, gang, how are we supposed to eat? Like, nah, he is going crazy. No, no, no. Zoom I in on, <laughs> zoom in on. Him. How are you eating that sandwich dry? Like, no bell is wild. I'm talking about that chicken bacon ranch. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm bro, I'm bro, I'm bro. And I need a bag of Doritos mm -hmm. so I can put it on it, y'all. Yeah. Is anyone on the team of the grocery store? He a Walmart bandit, man. No more. <laughs> need a water? Call P, man. No cap. You charge? Nah. Nah, it's free. It's free. He real. He real. Okay. It's free. It's free. It's free. Why you dribble? I played weight so many times in high school. I think it was my sophomore and junior year. I think he was a junior and senior. Well, I think it was, no, nah, I think it was just my sophomore year. I done played him twice, state, and just regular season games. Um, I came from a, a, good, a good household. You know, my family, we didn't have much, but we had enough to provide. Coach Sowers kind of drove down, talked to me about it, kind of wanted to figure out for me and helped me see if it was a great option. But he kind of told me who was all, who all came through, who all been there. So I was like, I mean, why not? You know, season around the corner, I at least got to try something. So I want to just be missing out another year of college basketball. So. Um, realistically, i probably say that I kind of just, my dad really kept me you know what I'm saying, intact with all of it because I know a lot of people probably want to give up, a lot of people want to, you know what I'm saying, try to take a different route or do something differently. But like, I love the game, so I kind of spent my days working out every day, just kind of in the gym because that's kind of what kept my mind off everything I went through, just being in the gym, staying dedicated, staying true to what I love to do. You know, so just coming in every day, just kind of see. Out of the five players, just all of us being named the McDonald's, it feels good because knowing the hard work we all put in, especially Keontae, uh, AB, Jordan Wash, Kaysen, you know. It hurts them, I'm not gonna lie, it did hurt because I seen a lot of people who I'm friends with, used to be friends with in positions that I could be in also, but due to what I went through, you know, it kind of set me back a little bit, but I didn't let that affect me because mentally I, you know what I'm saying, I was strong, so I just was like, I gotta keep going. I didn't do anything like that. Just in the gym 24-7, staying away from everything. I probably went outside a couple of times, you know what I'm saying? But then after a while, it kind of just got to where it was like, I'm not in the position that I need to be in, so why I keep doing stuff like that's not helping me get to where I need to be? So i probably say, like, it weighed on me a lot. You know, it, it felt like a thousand pound weight just on my shoulders every day. Just waking up and just not being able to, you know what I'm saying, be in front of NBA scouts and playing on the college floor in front of thousands of fans, probably even more than thousands of fans, but I'd probably say it just, man, it affected me mentally, but I just had to like, you know what I'm saying, keep going, because um, right What's now I'm done. telling you at this time? Man, my dad was on my man, like completely on my Every day it was, come on, get up, we're going to the gym. It's a good get on my It's not one of them dads where it's like, oh, he ain't gonna be you know who, but it was just, every day he was, come on, man, we're gonna go to the gym. I know you don't feel like doing nothing, let's go to the gym. We had a court in the backyard, so it was days where he was like, all right, come on, let's go shoot in the backyard. Even when it was cold, we just, even if it's free throws, you know, we in the back just shooting free throws or getting a couple shots up, making everything just kind of go away. Cause it was days where I ain't, and I'm not gonna lie to you, it was days where I ain't want to do nothing. Days where I was on my sitting down every day, not focused, not worried about basketball. Then it was that switch that was like, 
I say I have an opportunity, I say I have a chance, cause, and I know that I'm not this monster or this person that created me on the internet. So kind of just being through all that, I was like, man, I gotta keep going. Like nobody, nobody can stop me. Okay. How many games did you guys get to play this weekend? Uh, three. Which one was the hardest? None of them. None of them. Oh my God. Spoken like a true Memphis boy. I'm, I, I, yeah, I do my homework. That's right. He's from Memphis. No pressure as far as uh, expectations being high for you coming up in there. No pressure. No pressure at all. You you built for this, right? I have a lot of words to say. I'm going through a, a hard time right now. But everybody talk about basketball skills these two have. I just lost my dad. And something that's keep keeping me up is this too. I didn't know whether I was going to my dad's funeral. And the advice I got from this kid was, coach, we got you, it's family over everything. Some things to say it, some things is to actually do it. I got a point to prove to myself first before I try to prove it to anybody else. So it kind of just, it was a lot at first. No social media, no outside, no partying, no nothing. It was just straight basketball for like months. I didn't do anything, I just was playing basketball, but then it's another thought like, I got family to feed, you know, so I take care of my mom, my brother, my dad. And I know they all count on me, and I can't disappoint them in any form or fashion, so I had to do it either one way or another way. It wasn't no giving up. That was never on my mind. It wasn't no giving up. But going through what I went through, I was like, man, I'm going to have one hell of a story to tell. So I kept going. Everybody's city is gritty, everybody's city is hungry, but I feel like Milwaukee, we got a lot more to, to, to fight for because our city is so small. As an update, we are having significant blood loss from injuries. Police say a 26-year-old guy- Is people running for their life up there, dude? Several teams show him their typical afternoon. Here's another Tuesday for you. Pretty hard and easy to mess up at the same time because staying focused is the main thing. Staying focused and thinking about the, the main goal and the bigger picture. And when I was when I was little, I wasn't thinking about the bigger picture. I was thinking about the now. Jason O'Neill here for Hoops Factory TV with Devontae Cops. Devontae, we're at the off rush camp. Uh, people are gonna try and test you. It seems like they're already trying to test you. Um, is there any smoke you don't want? I want all the smoke. Everybody, anybody. I, I get real hectic when they talk. I'm talking. Ziggy Little Tezzo, bro. hey, we teaming up. Hello, bro. <laughs> and then uh, you're actually going to be uh, attending Mayfair this year. Yeah. Um, how excited are you to team up with Josh Christopher? It was lit. That's uh, my brother. And literally, you can wake up one day and the basketball or whatever you had to be gone from you. So, what I would say is always think about the future and what's next. I play with D. Play with Josh, J Jalen House, Javon Blackshirt, Shamar Morrow. Play with a lot of guys. Play with S SFG, LeBron, East Sky Clark. I, I ended up going to SFG my going into my sophomore year, playing with them that summer, and me and Dior ended up meeting and just becoming almost best friends. Like, unfortunately, how this game goes, they don't have great circles. They don't have good people around them. They got enablers. They got yes men. And when you got those two things. Man, your, your downfall, it come quick and fast. You need people around you that's gonna keep it real with you. That's gonna say, hey, you can't come with us right now. Keeping you grounded and keeping you realized, man, the main thing gotta be the main thing. How hard is it 
you know, for <clears throat> not just nowadays, but yeah, uh, athletes to find those circles or even stand the right path. Man, it's so hard right now because, man, man, you treat like a rock star. Nobody tells you no. Who telling you no? You got a million Instagram followers. You got, like, you got people that's been catered to you since you was, what, the hot thing in eighth grade, ninth grade. Now you in a freshman, sophomore in college. You've never hit adversity in your life. Everything's been handed to you. That The, the, the times ain't never got tough. Handed to you as far as what? Like, because I'm, I'm better than you. I'm more athletically than you. Or I need you to go do, I need you to go play in a tournament for you. Here this go, here that go. Like things of that nature, like it's other things that have caused this thing. And then like, and in the social media area, it's not like it's early in the day where you might not go see, you might see this person on YouTube after every other month, but now you can physically go see them. You can physically look at your phone and be like, oh, this is what they doing. This is where he do all the day in the lives. Like, if you feel like you can touch this person, like you know this person, you connected. Mm -hmm. So this day and age, this basketball player is so much more accessible. And that's a good thing for your brain and anything, but it can be a bad thing if you don't keep basketball as your main. Once you get good and you start beating everybody in your area and the local talent, you, you, can, get, you can get complacent because that's human nature. I don't want to say my mom struggled, but she struggled growing up. Um, she, but she always made stuff happen. Like, a lot of hard days, a lot, a, lot, a lot of hard nights sometimes, but other than that, my mom made sure it was good. It was good. What do you mean by like hard days, hard nights? Uh, some days we had some nights where it's like fend for yourself day. Literally, fend for yourself. You gotta cook, you gotta eat all on your own because my, either my mom either working real late and it's just me and him, or we got basketball games where we've been playing basketball all day and it's late and we ain't got time to cook. We gonna fight out though. I think we leave at like three in the morning. But I think we drive everywhere else. Dang. Like we drove to Wichita. It's probably the longest drive ever. How far is that? Seven hours, I think. Eight hours. But I'm used to on, on buses. I'm used to used to drive them three four hours. <laughs> Once that fourth hour mark hit, I be foot body be tight, body be hurting, I be aching. So it's a Walmart over there. Oh. Okay. That's probably the only grocery store. And then they got like a. Uh, we have like a save a lot where I'm from. Yeah. They got like a little grocery market, you wanna say? But other than that, ain't none. This is the weight room though, man. It's my for eights, man. Let's go, let's go. This is the weight room, man. Nothing crazy, but it worked. Right? Oh, man, you get it done. You get it done. Right. My boy Sonny, he be here with us. Who's that? Sonny, that's that dude, man. He gonna get you right. Sonny gonna get you right. Weight trainer. He look, he look small, but he hockey, and he know what he's doing, most definitely. And he'll do it too, like he'll show you, he'll get in there. You guys have 24-7 access? Yeah. Yeah, like anytime. Yeah. Oh, you see, I'm in here late nights. If I fail here, that's on me. It's nobody else's fault. Not my mom's, not my dad's, not, not theirs. It's on me, because like I said, everything is here in front of me. Everything. Can't what you do? Uh, huh? What you do with the the year in between? Work, work, just straight work. Like that year was uh, like a job. Nah. Oh. Nah, in the gym, staying in the oh, gym. Yeah, yeah. That year was like a like a get back year. Yeah. Like I went into a deep depression state and was, like was struggling to get out of bed, struggling to get up. It took me to a point where I had look in the mirror and was looking at myself like this ain't you. So that whole year, I was just trying to get back to me, trying to get my mental state back. Staying in the gym, staying on the grind. How do you get back to it? Uh, that's a, that's a good question. I honestly don't know how I got back to it. Just staying with it, honestly. Uh, I know a lot of people when stuff got hard, they just gave up and just quit on it. I never been the type to just quit on something that I wanted to do. Manifestation is real. I, I want to be a professional basketball player. I want to get it to the next next level. Mm. So. Me just thinking about my future helped me get back into my mold. <laughs> what you doing here? I said, hey, um, I need to look for the balls. I need to count them. They you got to count them out, though. Huh? They, count. they working out right now. Yeah, I know. They, they, all, have to be there. they all out there, though. Huh? 
He's finna count him, man. Who count him? <laughs> Who car is that? I know they're not using our bus. They're uh, not using our bus. Heck, you know, we giving them free rides? We better charge them. Y'all have a nice bus. To yeah, we do got a nice bus. We do <laughs> got a nice bus. <laughs> Oh, is it a camera? <laughs> there he is, right here. Ain't no food. What you mean? She ain't done cooking. All right, all right. You done about the grease? Yeah. Why don't you give me the plate, my boy, so stop it. <laughs> Get a plate, bro. Yeah, <laughs> you don't care. You act like y'all ain't never ate a meal before. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Plenty games. At least you guys got something. Mm. So at least you guys got something. Yeah. If you can't bring your PS5 or a computer. You can, oh, you can hook it up? Yeah, if you want to. All my life. Just don't leave it, huh? Just don't leave that mug. No <laughs> cap. Let's go see what everybody else is doing, man. Hey, Diddy in the room? It's my boy, Diddy. Diddy, are you in here? <laughs> What's up? What's going on? <laughs> That's good, <laughs> My boy Diddy, man. Sorry, bro. You already seen CP, right? You, you, you already said something, right? Yeah. You did, you know? Yo. That's good to see you. Uh, all right, all right. Yeah, introducing the team, man. Bro, My boy Diddy, boy, man. Where? There you go. There you go, that boy. There you go, that boy. That's that boy right there. Hey, that's, that's the man, all right? That's top dog right here, man. Good. Look at all. Are oh, you in there paying the laundry? So you go to the laundry, man, it's like two dollars, three dollars. <laughs> just to dry your clothes, man. How much is it here? Free. <laughs> oh, how you we get free, right? Laundry free, right? See? You ain't gotta pay for it. <laughs> it's safe when you buy everything free here, man. All you gotta do is play on the detergent. That's about it. Why? Why do you say three? <laughs> oh no, man. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, I got a cat. You want to put your head up? Type of cat. Tell them what type of cat. It's got, got a calico. What's that? Uh, it's just a spotted cat. That, that mug is beautiful. He has a big coat. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> them lights down there? That's the gas station. <laughs> oh, bro. Oh, I didn't even. Literally, you drive straight and you get off campus and you can drive right into the gas station. Oh. We got a police academy too, I think, on, on campus. Safe, so safe. Mm -hmm. We good. <laughs> we good. Police yeah, drive through here 24 7. What's he cooking up? What'd she say? Some smothered, what? Smothered mashed potatoes. Something, smothered something, something, something. Uh, it sounded I see good. Where he, he cooks, cooks. Yeah, it's, it it's sounded, not just like simple. Man, it yeah, sounded no. good. She throwing down like your mama, boy. I need all of that. It sounded good, so I said, give me a plate. I said, yeah. What you mean if it was already like $3 for this? I mean, it's $5 for a snack, bro. Three thirty is crazy, bro. Snack, bro. Where it come from? What? Hey, did just get to the store? Uh-uh. Did all this in this kitchen? Where are from? I'm just saying. Yeah. I'm finna kill this. Y'all can't. Hey, this is like. Yeah, we, we eat for real. You, you thought I was playing, huh? Yeah. No, I wasn't playing. This is small soul to be doing this. Hey, man, hey. You gotta, you gotta make it work. I mean, it's gonna be good. It's always like this caliber. Always. Thank you so much. I appreciate y'all so much. No, I'm good. Thank you, thank you. You could have mine. I appreciate that. He made a lot, so he was just joking with y'all. He was gonna let y'all eat. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be good though, man. I ain't gotta go nowhere by none. Eat, hop in the shower, go to bed. So he does this every night? Not every night. It's what do you do if he doesn't cook? Uh, go get some food. Probably go to Slim Chicken or to go to the cab. The cab usually has some good food in there. How long is that open to? Um, I'm gonna say an hour or two. So they got certain hours. Yeah. So I think breakfast starts at 9 or 10 to like 11, 12. I'm gonna stack up on waters, food, snacks. 
I just can't believe he did that in that small room. Mm-hmm. Make it happen. Hey, hey. Hey, what uh-huh. I'm already doing it. That's p shit. I know. He's always down to rebound for anyone. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's yeah, p- always. Always down to work you out. How long has he been here? Just this year? Yeah, this is his first year, too. He's been here as long as us. So you came from Link Academy. Yeah, I was at Link Academy last year. Uh, man, we had a great season. Got away with a lot of great guys yes, uh, from the player development part. And now I'm here. Who's your most notable? Trey Johnson? Probably Trey Johnson, LeBron Phylon, Jasper hey. Johnson, uh, James Brown. Uh, but then before I, before I got there, I was at UT Martin for six years. Uh, we got a kid, Jordan Sears, he's at LSU right now. Starting point guard, transfer from there. Uh, Parker Stewart went to Indiana and Pitt. Uh, oh, so you K- got a resume. Yeah, it's decent. It's decent. It's decent. Decent resume. So why you decide to come back to the JUCO level? Hey, man. It's pouring the people, man. Here, it's an opportunity, man. You get to work with, man. We got, like you said, we got seven former Division One players. We have probably 12 guys that are going to sign a Division One scholarship if everything goes to right. Wow. So, like, why not? Why not come want to work with talent that wants to be in the gym, that wants to get better, for a coach that wants to win, for a community that is used to winning? What do you think we got, John? What? The water. Like, four, three, seven, five. <laughs> I'm saying, what? $4 for the water. Yeah, okay. We can go to the store up there and get two decent two sized three. waters, two for three. He doesn't have any beds for y'all? No, 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 no. No bad, no bad. I didn't know where. Wow. Well, oh, That's all that matters. It's a water fountain right there, ain't it? They be playing. <laughs> why, why is there wrong? <laughs> I couldn't even tell. That's yeah. why I ain't drinking that. <laughs> if I can't get into the pork shop, man, we have to get some more food, man. Hey, do what you gotta do. Yeah, you hear him? Hell yeah. I think I'm gonna get one home. He is happy right now. He is happy right now. Hey, DJ, what's up with you? Yeah, come on. Yeah, yeah. Yo, yo. Bam, go. Thank you so much. You ain't want no socks? Oh, yeah, come on. Run him, run him, run him. I thought you was playing. I ain't that big. Run him. Hey, he got some more. Huh? You got no cornbread? You got no cornbread? Ain't no more cornbread? Ain't nothing left, bro. Ain't yeah. nothing, bro. Yeah, it's done. Oh, Damn, I want that cornbread, bro. We just split, split it, right split it, split it. You ate already? Yeah. Leave me alone. Hmm. Hmm. Say this. You want this one? Say it again. What about the cafe? That joint closed, so that's the thing about here, but cafe. They serve dinner around like six, man. Where are you eating dinner at six o'clock at? I've never ate dinner at six o'clock a day in my life, ever. Rise and shine clothes. I think I'm gonna just stick with the vending machine. I ain't gonna lie. What? Yeah, a couple snacks. No, nah. you can't go out like that. I oh, don't know, man. I might order a piece of them. What time Domino's close? I can't tell you all that, bro. Y'all don't want to listen to me. Send, me. send me that video of Kai Hooper. He doing that crossover again? Hmm? He doing that crossover again? Yeah, send me, send me that video yeah, of Kai Hooper. Yeah, let me see that crossover. Yeah, yeah baby, you? you Papa? Yeah, big boy. Yeah, we talking about you hooping, baby. I dream of that every night. What? I sound like hoping. Son going to the league. Being top of the country. He said his name like a clerk. He's gonna be way better than me. My young boy be crossing the ball over for real. Full court. Can't go a day without talking to them. In my, that's my safe space, my happy space. Whenever I feel down or feel upset, I just call one of them. I can call his iPad or car phone, and everything feels straight. You'll never find 
com a maçã. What kind? Yeah. What's up, Papa? What y'all doing? Uh, I had my kid when I was 18. Senior year, I was in high school. Junior, junior senior year. Uh, at first, it was a little, it was a little scary. When he came, it was just like a, a huge eye opener. But then everything, everything kicked in. Like it's time, it's time to go. I had a bigger purpose. I had a, I, I had something to, something to grind for, for real. I always had something to grind for, but me having my son made me grind even harder. Having a, having, having a kid helped me mature a lot. Uh, I know I'm still growing up, but he, he's helped me grow up a lot. He's helped me fix my attitude, fix how I think mentally, how I, how I go into certain situations, all because I don't want him to have that, have a certain attitude or be the type of bad person when he grows up. When I'm at the practice, I think of him. I think of the bigger picture. If I go out and party this and the third, what am I doing to help my son? I'm not, doing, I'm not helping him at all if I'm going out and partying. You trying to get in at 5.30? Just a quick like. You was fucking bed right now. I know. All right. I'm tired as f it happens like that. Yeah. How about 5.30? Okay. Cool. Straight like that. Got a lot more time now. You got a minute of sleep. Okay, now someone else is going. Oh, come on, screaming. Come on. You got to change your relationship, baby. Hold on, wait, don't extra clip. Yeah, 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 you, bro. Yeah, you, bro. Nah, he got a tattoo at least. Ain't no soft shit, though. This is for me, like, this is for street. Oh, God. All right, so time out. Listen, listen. He talking about soft. He not used to that. He never had that before. Exactly. I'm hard to the bone. I ain't worried about that. But you just said hard grade military. Hard grade military alone. You just said it. All props. And them boys carry real rifles. Real rifles really marching. I can't punch in if you keep talking about you want to start over. No, you can punch in. I'll do it later. I know I can. Where are my book bags? Yo! What's going on, Dale? What's up, Dylan? What's up, bro? What's my name like that, man? What's your name? What's up? What's your full name? My full name? Pajama. Pajama, pajama, my llama. I owe some. I'm talking about a G5. No, that's hard. That's hard. Yeah, I parked in the front, though. Oh, cool. I might go with my pajama car. All right, I'll be in the room. How'd you get your car here? Bro, you don't even get me started. Oh, yeah. I drove here from Wichita State, like seven hours, 30 minutes. Yeah, I packed my whole little one bedroom apartment up. Yeah. And had to move everything into here. <laughs> my dad took some of the stuff though, so. There's definitely more stuff out here, but as far as like, uh, like the big city life, like it's more on the Oak Hill side where like, all we got is a McDonald's and like maybe Starbucks, Slim Chickens, and that's about it. So there's no Popeyes? No Popeyes, no Chipotle. And only one Walmart. And one Walmart, yeah. What's this on? Where, where my charger at? It's in here. Right, you acting like you, 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 need, you don't need it right now? Make sure you get it, fool. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it goes on, on it now. Oh, he finished his Oh, you're dressed and ready. Bro, there's no, the girls are on the court. Like, we're right now? Yeah, like, training room's closed. There's no reason to be in there. <laughs> it's like, it's like, come on now. Oh, you're supposed to be working out? Yeah, I mean, I was going to, but now we're I'm not. We're going to the calf now. <laughs> I think I should redo the whistle. Tell me the newest version. Oh, that boy got his practice gear on, boy. That boy ready. I'll park in the back. Oh. <laughs> you want to hear my verse? Hey, uh, I'm going to read you that first part.
I'm gonna redo my ad libs because my ad libs. Front ski. Over punching my. Front ski. Shotgun. Cause me, this is me. Some I got a hoodie on. Like, like rings are right. My demon oh, time, nah. Yeah. Lights, I try not to wear it. Nah, twice that I shit came up off the shoe. Nice. Why you got punches so they they're hit every morning? Hey, they don't know what this is. They don't know what this is on camera. I thought they don't know. Yeah, why, why? It's, I, I, call know it, I call it a hell dog. I, like I call it a hell dog. Get in the car, Nick. I love I did. Really? Get in the car, Nick. Hey, get on camera. Get on camera. I said shotgun. I mean, if it's on camera. You're trying to take shotgun. Like, I... Here tonight. Like in the morning. In the morning. Like, like, two. One. Not two. Like three. 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 We got I don't care. I just need a punch. What, 415, right? Really? I don't care about none of that. Nine. 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 Nah, I got a tattoo at nine for sure. Like locked in. You could drop us off at the. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but I got a lot. Yeah, I got a lot. Is it still coming? Is it still coming on the road? Ah. Uh, four, four or five days? Uh, oh, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Go back know, to Bluetooth. Bro. Bro. Oh, it's a flight though. It's a flight though. Nah, nah, nah. It's nah, a flight. He said we could check two bags. That's easy. But it's for sure. Don't tell him. I'll sacrifice the carry on. Huh? It's gonna. It's gonna be really like. Be like, really like I think you should. Like stop molding as much. <laughs> like, I don't know how to say it. You be fat before you're like, yeah, like yeah. Yeah. but when I this hear eight foot you, if you're gonna mold, I want to hear like, whoa. Hey, hey. If you're gonna mold, hey. I want to hear like, mm -hmm. oh, facts. Facts, you got it. Like, you get what hey. I'm saying? Like, he, he, like, no, it, like, he don't know. Like, I'm, but who's the number one consumer in the U.S.? Who's the number one consumer in the U.S.? Who? Who's the number one consumer? This is for me. No, 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 no. Who's the, <laughs> but, but but if you're trying to sell it, who's the number one no consumer? No girls listening to that. Who's the number one consumer? We females. Females. No females listening so, to that. So if you make music, who should you make music for? Females. Bro. Right. I want to so hear why you keep saying all these sad songs. You yeah. like those sad songs. I, I, I want to reiterate. There's a reason why Rod Wave gets like, more like, sales. I want to correct me if I'm wrong. They like Brent, right? I want to reiterate. I punched it in. I said. They love Rod Wave. There's a reason why Rod Wave gets more sales. I want to reiterate. Like I made, I made another song like two days ago. It was a little smooth, another dirty sprite. Like it was a little small. Look at Skillet Baby. He's a tr I'm trying. Like when I was here, when I made that song, when I hear that song, I want to think of just like. And you see why? And you see why people stop listening to that? You could hop on that, like whatever that that sing. I didn't understand. He's just mad can't He's just mad can't sing. <laughs> South Plains is huge. Huge. We got Smash Bros in our in Lamar Hall too. Rod Wave will make some sass. Yep, he'll go some drills. And then boom. Hey, you know some verses are sad. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> This is good eats. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got pizza rolls. Yeah, it was pizza rolls. Man, y'all need heavy. I used to just come get a salad. They ain't got no, no ham. Uh, you can't just eat it dry. <laughs> like that, I'm saying no meat. Oh. <laughs> Eat the salad dry. Bro, I got his practice jersey on right now. He's ready, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a walk practice through. starting at 6, right? It's a walk 6? It's a walkthrough. Oh, 6.30? This whole time I got my... I mean, I'm also going to stay ready. Stay ready, yeah, yeah. They got the Oreo cake. I don't know. That's the Oreo cake, bro. They ain't had this in a couple of days. I ain't even say Did you say you're a picky eater? A little bit. But I be trying to gain weight, so like I gotta like sometimes it's just like the calories, bro. Like, I need them. Trying to get to like 215. That's what the coach Yeah, 220. So I can go through somebody's chest like this guy. Like this guy right here. <laughs> Sleep war zone, that's about it, man. Y'all got good internet in here? Great internet. Yes, Great sir. internet. So you see that box? Yeah. At first I had it connected to that box. Woo. They got four lane cables. Got me a good home no depot cord. No lag, no lag, no lag at all. 
I didn't even think y'all had DoorDash out here. I didn't think we had DoorDash out here either when we first got out here. But like, I think you only DoorDash a couple restaurants. Probably like McDonald's. And I think Burger King. But it looks like he had Popeyes. Popeyes? Probably not. Is it Popeyes out here? Nah, I was trying to trip him in. Uh, probably, yeah, probably KFC. I'm already packed. Bro. I'm a. <laughs> I'm already packed. Y'all slag here. It was the way that you came over here to ask me. You already packed? Bro, I'm just going to throw a whole bunch packing? of sweats in my I came from Wichita State, so like, I kind of already had like a basis like in the NIL. Yeah. So you can still get NIL in Juco? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, especially like, if you got companies that are like loyal with you, like been posting, been tapped in with, like they'll follow you. Like, like Fashion Nova, I've been with them for like, Maybe a year and a half, but like it was no different for me coming here. They still with the same content, same thing. You ain't going nowhere. You got 29 minutes, man. You ain't going nowhere. Made a breakfast burrito. Come on now. You said what? Y'all are eating real heavy, but I guess hash browns. So, so okay. <laughs> I don't know if it's a. I think we're going live, bro. We're not going live. We're probably gonna run through all our plays. No way. And then we're gonna probably love you too. We're gonna run our plays. We're gonna run all our plays, and then we're gonna see what they run, and then we're gonna do ball screen defense with it. We ain't gonna really practice every day. Stuff I went through, like it made me a better person day by day. Like my dad came up with this thing. I know a lot of people already said it, but it's like just get one percent better. So mentally, that was my mindset every day. If if I can get better in this, the next day I can get better in that. So every day it was either I'm doing something differently or I'm working on the same thing. Yo, you trying to bring me your uh, black top? Oh, you gotta wear that? Bring me a blue one then. Let me see a blue one. My yeah, you got a blue black top? I got a large. Huh? I got a large. Should be, yeah. yeah. Hey, hey, hey. We, we negotiated right. I get the large shirts, you get the medium stuff. Man. We already talked oh, about yeah. that. Yeah, yeah man. I'm wearing no mediums. My jersey medium, medium, man. Why would I wear a. a you a, match up with the jersey. Cause you gotta think about it, man. Like, if we low on uniforms. Who's really supposed to get the, the large? You go get food. Nah, I'm gonna get that every day. I'm talking about that So you're not gonna play well because they put too much muscle in your sound? No, I'm playing. I told y'all he was gonna say that. I'm gonna still play well. Come on, well, man. He'll know, but you just gotta tell him, like, hey, like, other students don't have to be back until the 14th or the 7th. Why you come trim, though? Because, man, you gotta come trim, man. You want black socks? I got you. Right? Oh, yeah, I know what time you want for sure. White t shirt <laughs> under. White. But his, his undershirt is a white tee in his wrinkles. I'm not gonna lie. You know what time he on. His knees, ass, he, he's fouling. He's, he's, he's hacking for sure. I got some white socks. For you. you just gotta go get him. I got you. I'm on my way. Come on, come on. Let's go. I've seen a couple of my friends get shot. My grandma died at 17. My auntie died six months later after my grandma died. Just going through a lot of life situations that the usual 16, 17, 15 year old wouldn't go through. Keeping a positive attitude is really just taking it day by day. Being grateful for what you got. I'm not, I'm not even supposed to be here. God put me in position. I'm here. Being, being able to hold, being able to play, it's a blessing.
Blackwood point guard out of Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, after I finished my senior year at Grayson, uh, I went to uh, Alabama A&M. Uh, I registered straight out of uh, high school, so I got that experience of just seeing what it takes, you know. Sometimes it gets, it gets a little lonely out here. It's, it gets boring. You know, there's nothing to do but go to the gym. So, you know, just having that next, that next, that next mindset of, of where I will be next year. So, uh, I think that that keeps me, keeps me sane. people gave up on me a lot of people you know just turned their backs on me but you know that's a part of it's a part of life you're gonna have days where I wouldn't even say days you're gonna have probably months weeks years uh, where it's gonna be you know what I'm saying you feel like a failure you gotta keep your head on you gotta keep going the minute you give up it's somebody else you know somebody else waiting on you to give up going to the gym, gotta be positive with it. I had everything, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just say, it's amazing, you know what I'm saying? Like, being in that position to have everything, and everybody, everybody's watching you, every, all eyes, you know, NBA, the NBA is literally one step over. It feels great, but then you also have those, you couldn't tell me. Been in a position where it's one step over, it's, the NBA is literally right there. Been in, been in college, then, you know, all the sports in this page is like all the people who do all the data who to put your name where it says potential NBA 2023 draft board. Man, good, man. That every kid, every person dreams of is getting paid a lump, like a lump sum of money to do exactly what they love to do. Like, that, it feels great. It feels unbelievable. Being one step closer to the dream, you know what I'm saying, and finally reaching your dream, and then being able to take care of everybody that you want to take care of. That's a great feeling, great feeling. Thank you. 
I didn't play organized basketball for a year, but I was always in the gym. That's, that's something you can never take away from me. Me being in the gym, I'll always stay in the gym. My brother, working out all year. My boy Reed, back in Arizona. It's a dog eat dog world. You gotta eat or you gonna get beat. Cause everybody's trying to get back to a, the top. Everybody wanna get back to the top. I don't wanna say Juco is the lowest, but Juco is the last step. I mean, after Juco, I mean, where else can you go? A lot of people think it as like, oh, I can get any type of jury, any type of car, but realistically, I'm in this to kind of feed my family, you know? So just being in that position to taste feeding your family, it just keeps me going every day. You know what I'm saying? That's something that I kind of wake up to every day, just admiring that I keep taking the right steps. I'm where I write, where I'm back to where I need to be. That's crazy. I don't got no bounce. No bounce. No bounce. Wow, that's crazy. Um, I don't really have no quote, but I'd probably say just stay positive, stay grounded. You know, just, uh, you know, you're not gonna always be in the best positions, but make the most of whatever position or opportunity that you face or get put in. Um, don't worry about the the wrongs. You know, it's gonna happen. You you're human. You're gonna you're gonna mess up. You're gonna be put in positions where you have to think humanly, not robotically. So I'd probably say just keep going, you know, do it for somebody that's counting on you. Um, don't worry about the outsiders because winning or not, they're gonna always hate on you. Double-double <laughs> <laughs> though. First game, first college game, double-double. 10 to 10? 10 to 10 ain't bad. It ain't bad for the game. First game. 10 to 10 ain't bad for the season. The season, you think so? That's what I'm averaging right now. Ooh, at first it was a little rough. I didn't like none of these guys. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't like none of them. I promise you. It was just, I feel like it was more of a competitive spirit. Not more of just like envy, but it was just a competitive spirit. I just wanted to. Man, my last college game was before last December, Christmas. I transferred here and I was ineligible. This is my first game back. Yeah. You took a year off too? Yup. 
We got the best bench in the nation, man. Watch out. I'm not playing a point guard no more. I'm going to fuck the ball. John, get the ball. Come on, John. Let's go, John. Throw it, John. Throw it. Be real shift team, Throw it, John. Real shift team. I'm going to let you I don't know. Real shift team, for real. Wait till he come back. Y'all going to see. He's going to be crazy. Being at JUCO, it, it, it opens your eyes to the real world. It makes you, and it, it makes you want to strive for more. Uh, if I fail at South Plains College, that is on me, not on nobody else, because everything is right in front of us. JUCO, they put everything right in front of you. It's up to you to take it. My advice to the young kids. Put the work in, it's going to show. Don't worry about no rankings, don't worry about no clout, don't worry about none of that, don't worry about none of it. You put the work in, everything going to show. Cream always rise to the top. If you like that, they're going to find you. They're going to find you. They have to. Giving books to my name. Y'all trying to go in on a piece? I see it. See, it's got like five dollars. I'm gonna go, go in my shower real quick though, I ain't nah, gonna lie. I gotta go in my shower first. Out of you, dump that! Oh! Hey! Alright! Take this face. That's big people. Man, I ain't gonna lie, my teammates, boy, oh my god. Them boys are some characters. Yeah, I feel like they'll make the worst situation the best situation, but I really love them boys for real. Cause they really get me out the house. You can ask any of them. I really don't even come outside for real. Uh, uh, boy. I ain't gonna lie, DJ wrong. I'm not happy about this. He gave me a swallow a lemonade. Squig. Who? Uh, you live on the other side. Nice. You live right here. Yeah. Room 15. Stu is not set up right now. The Stu is like mobile right now. Tomorrow I got you. Yeah. Hey, if you, yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow I got you. Tomorrow I'm gonna give y'all a Stu vlog, actually. And, uh, yeah. Should we, should we make a song? Like, we'll make a song for y'all, how about that? Like a little, little, little 30-minute song. A little 30 minutes? 30 minutes. No, 30, 30 minutes. 30-minute Stu oh, session. 30-minute session. Hi, Jay. Hi, Kill O'Neal. Ah! <laughs> Mama, why you crying? Bro, no, 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 no. I'm gonna leave his car on the flight, he ain't going nowhere. <laughs> oh, that's his keys. <laughs> DJ! DJ, you gone? I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> TJ! He gone. Everybody gone. We get a dub, don't nobody want to be around? CB? He gone. Next room. Judd! He gone. <laughs> this don't make no sense. <laughs> Who's next? Deal! Yo. What's that word? Hey, bro. Where you at? Where you going? Open up. Hey, goodbye. Hey, goodbye. Boys, goodbye. Goodbye. These, 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 <laughs> these boys are so serious, man. I ain't gonna lie. These boys are so serious. <laughs> Alright, so this IJ room, we just seen Shaquille O'Neal finna wash his clothes. Oh, that's him. Yeah, yeah, Shaquille O'Neal. How do you like living right next to everybody? Nah, it's crazy. Everybody's just right here. You can literally just mess with people. Vaughn, we just seen him. Big cops. Yeah. Tess! What's good? What y'all? Open up. Come up with gas. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Tennessee's his favorite one of mine. <laughs> y'all heard him say it. Y'all heard him say it. Last question. When I shot that three, did you even look at I it? I knew it was going in. Yeah, like I always That's do, it, cut. That's it. He knew it was going in. He knew it was going in. We turn around. We turn around. We're going back on defense. We're going back on defense. We're going back on defense. We ain't even looking at the shot. My favorite quote, if y'all watch Tyrion interview, at the end of the day, the day got to end. Man, just don't let, just don't let what happened today affect tomorrow, you know? At the end of the day, the day got to end, bro.